guys, this is J Love Jones and welcome back to my channel. Remember Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Well today guys, I'm going to start my fitness journey. I did mention previously that one of my goals is to lose weight for my birthday next month. So today I'm going to begin my fitness journey by going for a walk, maybe an hour, and then come back and I'm going to start my eating plan, which will be Slimming World from home. So I'll take you along on the journey with me. And when I get back from my walk, I'll show you the different books that I will be following um, on my journey to lose this weight, at least half a stone or a stone by the 12th of February. So I'll catch up again later. So guys, I'm here starting my walk. Um, the morning is really brisk. It's lovely. First walk for the new year, 2023. So let's do this. I've got this. Can't be doing my birthday um, with all this added weight. I've got to do something. And it's also for your, you know, for my health, you know. At the end of the day, um, getting older, aches and pains and everything else and um, going through the menopause which I'm doing you know things are just different my body's different um, aching joints I do believe that has something to do with also the weight gain as well so I believe that um, me starting this walking exercise I used to walk a lot um, before I don't know, I got lazy, I guess. <laughs> but I used to walk a lot. I used to run, but I can't run anymore. Um, I've got pains in my knees. Um, there's a um, missing cartilage in my knees, so I can't run. And I used to love running, and that kept the weight off. But anywho, we're here, and walking is the name of the game. Have to do walking, so walking it is. And also, I'll be doing um, walking, some walking videos on YouTube, from YouTube. Um, at home as well so I'll put some of those up because I follow Glow with Joe, um, and her videos are really really good so um, I have done those in the past and there's different you know different lengths and they're doable and you do sweat trust me you sweat but anyway guys look at the countryside look at my view on my walk Isn't that amazing lovely green clean fresh air mm, so yeah so I've just started I've got my Samsung health app running in the back and that tells me how far um, I've gone and um, yeah and my pace and everything else but guys I've got this I really have got this and the other thing I did um, at the start of the year, I did a vision board, a digital vision board. I did one last year and I've got to say, I could, I could tick off quite a few of the, of the um, visions that I put up on that vision board, um, which was completed. But this year, my vision board, I've got it right. I've got it right. I took time in finding the different photos I wanted to put up. And yeah, I can honestly say, I'm really pleased with it but that's another thing so we can always have a discussion about that you know let me know what you do um, do you have vision boards is it card is it um, digital as, as I said my ones on my phone um, so every time I look at my phone it's as my background and my lock screen so I just manifest I just want to visualize and manifest 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 so um, let me know what you do or if you do have a vision board if it's card um, you know you stick the pictures on the cardboard or do you have little cards or again is yours digital like mine but yeah well, that was the other thing that I did for the new year guys um, as well as I've, I follow this person on um, Insta and they've got a January um, <coughs> excuse me a January um, Bible plan new beginnings so I also write read my Bible and also um, journaling so nothing but positivity for the start of this year moving forward 
um, clean mindset, no negativity, no thinking about the past or anything else. Just starting to, you know, nice, good things, good thoughts, good actions. Look at that, look at that. Yeah, the pond. Yeah, the pond is, yeah, flooded. So much water. Anyway, guys, when I get back, I'll be showing you my, um, my Slimming World books and what it's all about. Um, I used to go to class. I was thinking of joining a game, but I don't know. I think I might as well do this at home because regardless of anything, I know that I've got to do it. So once I've got the right mindset, I've got the right mindset and there's no stopping me. And, you know, obviously I'm taking you guys along with me. So, yeah, I've got this. I've got this, stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back from my walk. I did about 2.1 miles today in about 40 minutes. So I'm really pleased about that. I've started, at least I've started something. Anyway, as I said, my weight loss journey will be, or my healthy um, journey, my healthy eating journey will be, I'll be doing Slimming World. So at the end of the day, I used to belong to Slimming World last year. Um, obviously I've stopped going, but I've kept the material, I've kept all the books. And here are the books. Here's my food optimizing book, which I'll be reading from cover to cover. Basically Slimming World, what they advise you to do is create a food menu. So you plan your meals for seven days for the whole week. Um, I haven't done that yet. I'm going to do that today. So I'll write down my menu, what I'm going to have for breakfast each morning, lunch and dinner and snacks if I know what snacks I'm going to have. But I'm going to do that. I'm going to read my optimizing book and familiarize myself with everything. There are um, five food groups in Slimming World. So you've got your free food, which is your, your pasta, your fish, your chicken your beans, your lentils, etc. You don't measure away any of your free foods. However, I I recommend you just to be mindful because at the end of the day, you eat, when you're eating on, on Slim and World, you eat when, you know, to be comfortable, not to overeat. But remember your portion sizes. So you don't really want to fill your plates with loads and loads of like pasta or rice. And then you have your healthy extra A, which you measure. These are your da dairy, which is your cheese and your milk. Um, also healthy extra B, which will be your cereals and your bread. Again, you measure these and there um, are, like for your bread, there's different quantities, like one or two slices, depending on the size of the bread. And then you have your um, speed food, which will be your fruit and veg. But some fruit and veg are not um, speed that will come under free foods. Again, everything is enclosed in here in this in this book. It would enlighten me and let me know what those fruit and veg are. And then you have your sins. I was allowed 15 sins on Slimming World before, so I'm going to stick to 15 sins. But my sins, I probably use them on my sauces or if I'm cooking, obviously the odd treat like my chocolate or my popcorn. But I'm trying, I'm going to try to stay 15 sins and under. I don't have to use all my sins. I can plan my meals so I don't even need to use my sins. I'm going to try and stay below 15 each day. So, yes, guys, so again, here's another book. This is about body magic. Body, body magic means exercise. Whatever your journey, your healthy journey, do whatever exercise suits you some it could be swimming it could be running whatever you see fit to do as long as you're active just do that walking do that whatever you like do what you enjoy doing and you know as long as you are i think 30 minutes is a day is adequate if you can do more brilliant so um also there is be delighted with your first six weeks now this book it has loads of menus in here for the first six weeks. So if I get stuck with what to cook or my menu planning, I'm going to look at um, the books and choose some menus. So at the end of the day, I know what I'm going to be having and I can do my shopping accordingly.
Uh, this book is Supercharge Your Weight Loss with um, Extra Easy. Extra Easy is eating protein and vegetables. And I think you have less sins. But again, I have to read the principles behind Extra Easy and how long I should, um, it is recommended to stay on Extra Easy. I've also got this magazine to motivate me. I need motivation. Uh, so at the end of the day, it's good to read other people's stories and there are loads of recipes in the Slim and World magazine as well. So I'm going to kickstart by reading, getting some motivation. I'm in the right mindset because I want to do this. Again, I said my birthday's next month. I've put on loads of weight through the menopause. So I need to shed this weight and I will do it. So my mind's in the right, you know, the right place. Also drinking loads of water. I aim to drink at least four of these bottles to six bottles each day. So that's between two and three litres of water a day. By drinking these smaller bottles, I find it easier to drink the water. So again, water is very key because sometimes we're feeling hungry, but we're, we're really thirsty. And I'm also going to try not to eat too late in the evening as well. So I want to have a cutoff point, you know, having my dinner around about maybe 7.30 the latest, if I can, if possible. So, yeah, so that's, for, that's it for me. So at the end of the day, now what I'm going to do is go away. I'm going to create my seven day menu and then go shopping. So if you haven't done so already, please subscribe, share comment and hit the notification bell to be reminded of when I'm posting, when I'm uploading another video. But anyway, guys, so thank you so much. Comment below and let me know what your healthy journey looks like. What are you going to do? You know, what's your motivation? What plan are you going to stick to? Or how are you going to do it? I know some people do intermittent fasting. I know some people do keto, whatever it is just stick at it. We can do this thing together. So remember, onwards and upwards. So guys, thank you for joining me today and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.